It's time now for Down on the Corner with Dale Hoffman, North Central Arkansas's premier news talk program. Brought to you by Sears Hometown Store, locally owned and operated right here in Mountain Home. Good morning, North Central Arkansas, South Missouri. It is Wednesday, September 30th, 2020. It's 7 a.m., the last day of September, the last day of the third quarter. There you go. Fourth quarter coming up. Wow. (laughs) (laughs) What a ride it's been. (laughs) And we ain't done yet. (laughs) I'd rather just give that 75 cents to somebody else and keep the quarter coming up, right? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Dennis Dunderdale's on the mic over here. You can't see him yet. But, but, uh, wow, you know, the end of the third quarter, fourth quarter starting. Let's get this game over with, right? There you go. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to Down on the Corner program. It's brought to you by your hometown Sears store and Mountain Home at 1029 Highway 62 East. Locally owned and operated. You see it right there on your television screen. Locally owned and operated. That means a lot to the economy of North Central Arkansas and Southern Missouri. And speaking of which, doesn't matter where you are. If you're in Southern Missouri, Northern Arkansas, we'd love to invite you to, uh, love to have you come down to your hometown Sears store. We want to invite you to your hometown Sears store because... They're the very best in home appliances, home entertainment, tools, lawn care equipment. What am I missing? Anything for inside or outside the home, I can tell you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Kenmore, KitchenAid, uh, Whirlpool Appliances, just to name a few. Then they've got Husqvarna, lawn care equipment. They've, they've got, got DeWalt now. DeWalt Tools, along with Craftsman. Yep. So that's the advantage of your hometown Sears store is the fact that JR can pick and choose. He can see the higher quality products. If there's a lower quality that he really don't want to sell because I was in the same boat 40 years ago, you know, this is not a good tire. This is your best tire. Go with this one. You know, and people were satisfied. And that's the advantage you have with Sears because you get that one-on-one experience. You get the, uh, just that hometown caring spirit, you know, and that's what they do at Sears. Your hometown Sears stores at 1029 Highway 62 East. That's up on the hill behind Wendy's. Same parking lot as Orsland's, and it's out in front of Physical Therapy Connection. Your hometown Sears store, you can call them at 870-425-3191 or stop by the store. They'd love to have you stop by today. Then they've got in-home repair. That's one of the big biggies for them. Sure that down they, there? Mm-hmm. In-home, I mean. They can work on a repair mowers, shop, an actual they can repair work shop. on refrigerators, they can work on appliances, <clears throat> you name it. They can work on it right there in-house. They've also got... A mobile guy that can come out yep. and work at your place if you need it. Whatever you need to do, they can get you running. Over the last couple of months, Dennis, we've been talking about, remember the sign says radio, TV repair, had yeah. an RC or Xena sign or even a Motorola sign. Yep, and, yep, yep. And or, then you had like on Andy Griffith, they had Emmett's Fix-It Shop. Yeah. Where you actually took the toaster in to have it fixed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it would actually work on a television. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nowadays, hey, quit working, put it in the trash, you know, go yeah, buy another. that's right, yeah. disposable appliances. So your hometown Sears store, what a place. Come by and visit. Love to have you stop by at 1029 Highway 62 East. Locally owned and operated. Your money is spent here and invested here, right back into the communities of north central Arkansas and southern Missouri. Can't say enough good things about your hometown Sears store. Once again, at 1029 Highway 62 East, call them at 870-425-3191. Dennis and I are enjoying Brood Awakening Coffee. You can do the same thing. Brood Awakening Coffee has three locations to serve you. First, of course, is the main lobby of Baxter Regional Hospital. Follow the rules and regulations there for the COVID-19 protection, according to the uh, Department of Health. Also, we have Bomber Boulevard, which at 704 is not quite as busy now as what it will be in about 20 or 30 minutes. But you have Bomber Boulevard, 62 East Plaza, out by Anytime Fitness. Two drive throughs to serve you the very best coffee in town. As Mike was telling me, he says, hey, we're real coffee. He says, when I need beans, I place the order, they roast them, and they ship them out. Within 24 hours, we have the freshest roasted coffee beans that money can buy right here in Mountain Home. Hmm. Brutal Awakening Coffee. Yeah, he can get all kinds of blends. You can get your mochas, your lattes, your frappuccinos, what he calls the foo-foo coffees, pumpkin spice. All your foo-foo flavors. It's still real coffee. It's still real coffee. But it's got all your foo-foo flavors you could join. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> Candy-flavored coffee. <laughs> How's your coffee today? It's awesome. This It really is great mm-hmm. coffee. I, I have to agree. I stop at the one by uh, Ackerman Audio there. Yeah, Bomber. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I stop through there quite a bit. And, of course, 
we're at the hospital more than I want to be with Emily's <laughs> situation, so they have the lobby deal there. There but you go. Yeah, it's it's a it's a good cup of coffee. As Mike at Brood Awakening says, we are real coffee. Brood Awakening coffee, the best coffee in town. Not drinking Brood Awakening, you're just drinking muddy water. Mike and his staff do a great job at all three locations, so be sure to stop by today. Roller Funeral Homes of Arkansas bring the morning prayer each and every day. With all our respect, Roller Funeral Homes, 29 in the state of Arkansas to serve you with one in Memphis, Tennessee. Here in Mountain Home, talk to Bruce, Brad, Charlotte, Chris, anyone there can help you. And uh, there may be some folks out there I haven't met, and I'm sure they're right in line with everybody else with the caring, loving, and understanding spirit. It's a hard time for anybody. You lose a friend, a loved one, family member, whatever it may be. Roller Funeral Homes, with all our respect, a tough job, but they do it very, very well. Roller Funeral Homes, with all our respect, they bring you the morning prayer each and every day. So let's pause now for our morning prayer. Heavenly Father, last night's debate left one word in my mind, respect. Chris Wallace was horrible as a moderator, plus he was disrespectful to the president. Then when Joe Biden says, ah, oh, shut up to the president, proves no respect to the president. Now, no matter who occupies that office, whether it's Bush, Obama, or Trump, the president is worthy of our respect. Biden's outburst of disrespect demonstrates what's wrong in our cities, riots and violent protests disrespecting businesses and monuments. In order for our children to learn respect, it has to be taught by our media, by our leaders, and by our parents. Children learn by example, so my prayer today is help us as Christian people to show respect and God's love to all people, people whether we agree with them or not. It's my prayer today. Amen. Roller Funeral Homes of Arkansas bring morning prayer each and every day with all our respect. Roller <coughs> Funeral Homes. You've been gone a while, so pray and now, yourself. da da da, the weather. And we hey, that wasn't bad. <laughs> See, yeah. I, I, I'm beginning to really like you, and I, I will pay you later. Oh, we're just beginning. No. <laughs> I've only been doing this since you started the station. <laughs> Yeah, but you're actually talking nice about me now. <laughs> well, that's true. That, that is different. About two weeks ago. That is different. Sound like a moose in heat over here. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Good morning, weather brought to you by the Z Team. Bob and Linda's the door for all your real estate needs. 870-405-0793. The website retiretoarkansas.net. To be at the White River. A little fog today on the river. Yesterday was clear as a bell. All right, all right. If that's a little fog, what's a lot? That's when the whole frame. I mean, you actually see I would the can't sky. see the tops of the trees 20 <laughs> feet from the camera. <laughs> there you go. I mean, a couple of days ago, I mean, it was just nothing but just a solid sheet. Here's of fog. the same view done as still shot in the summertime there, and then this is the same view today. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Wow. Unreal. Yeah, we're at that time. Yeah, we sure are. Looking oh, into. There's a bird. Landed There's right a tail the feather camera. right Look there. Look at there. Isn't that cool? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't happen every day. <laughs> no. <laughs> the camera's cool. mounted in Marion County, Arkansas. The fog is over the White River separating Baxter and Marion counties. Let's go back. To, can you go back to that other shot? Still shot? Yeah. Yeah. That's what it normally looks like. Well, this is an afternoon shot taken in late September, early August. You can see some of the trees were starting to change. That picture was taken. The clearly in the front part of the picture is the little baseball park, railroad museum, and uh, – picnic area there the bridge to the left side of the screen and of course downtown cotter and you can see all the markings there on the horizon mountain home missouri state line things of that nature you can go to retire to arkansas.net and throughout the day you take pictures of the live webcam share it with friends and family be sure to tell them where you got it you got it from retire to arkansas.net because when they start looking for a place to live when they want to get out of all the violence in the cities and all the unrest they want to come down to north central Arkansas, southern Missouri. They need to call the Z team, Bob and Linda Zador. Bob and Linda have this award that stands up this tall. Mm -hmm. It's the most prestigious award in the corporation of Century 21. Wow. It's very prestigious, and they won it about three or four weeks ago, and very, very honored to be friends with them and know them. We know how hard they work. You know, they're 24 7 plus that, overtime. You know. <clears throat> that they do. They make a great team. They sure do. Bob and Linda's the door for all your real estate needs. You can call them at 870 405 0793, whether you're in Arkansas or Missouri. Hey, we're 15 miles off the state line, so it could be either or. So, Arkansas or Missouri, give them a call. The team is ready to serve you wherever you are in Arkansas or Missouri. Morning weather brought to you by the Z Team for all your real estate needs. It's now 57 degrees in Mountain Home. It's 64 at Harrison. Wow. 56 at Baseville, 51 at Salem, 57 at Calico Rock, but 47 in Flippin, 
45 at Marshall, 51 at West Plains. Around the region, St. Louis is checking in at 57, was 51 at Popper Bluff, 58 at Springfield, and only 43 degrees in Watford City, North Dakota, to put that in contrast from north to south. So, and the radar has to be refreshed again. I hate having to do this on the air. <laughs> This one here updates so many times you have to refresh it probably, and I just I get it's caught up another. It definitely thing. keeps it current. It keeps it current, that's for sure. Go ahead and put it in motion if you could. A lot of precipitation up in the New England area, basically from New York City to Boston all the way up into Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, and places like that. Scattered showers all the way back to Detroit, Rochester, Minnesota, Des Moines, Iowa, in the upper central part of Illinois. Wisconsin and Michigan getting some shower activity. A little bit of shower activity around Buffalo, New York. Not going to affect us at all. You can see that low pressure system with that little bit of a swirl. And so we'll zoom into Arkansas and take a look. There's nothing on the west coast and nothing basically from uh, Kansas City, Missouri west. So let's go in on Arkansas and see what we've got. Looks like all the highways are clear. 62, 412 east and west. Highway 65 to Branson. Highway 67 and 167 out of Little Rock. They split off at Searcy, and they go on up into Batesville and on up to Popper Bluff, Missouri. Your interstates, 30, 40, 49, 55, 555, 530 in Arkansas, clear at this time. And on this map, you can see Dyersburg, Tennessee to Jackson on 155, and uh, I-69 and I-55 and 40 at Memphis. Moving on up into Missouri. Looks like a nice, clear, sunshiny day in the state of Missouri today. I-70, 29, 49, 44, 55, all clear at this time. As well as Highway 60, 65, 160, 67, 63, and Highway 61. And uh, let's go to Southern Illinois, uh, East St. Louis, Illinois East, on I-64 towards Mount Vernon. Looks like it's in good shape. I-57 coming down from the junction of 64 down towards Carroll, Illinois. It's in pretty good shape right there. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. No watches or warnings for Illinois, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Tennessee, Kentucky, or Indiana. Seven-day forecast for us is sunshine through the rest of the week. Saturday, we have a 20% chance of showers, high of 65. 30% chance of showers on Saturday night. I have a feeling that will increase just a little bit. And so we'll watch that for the remainder of the week. Checking I Drive Arkansas, there's no accidents or any slow traffic moving right now. I 40, I 30, 30, and all the highways look like they're in pretty good shape right now. Same thing in Missouri, no watches or warnings. Highways are in pretty good shape as traffic moves at a reasonable pace right now. Checking your uh, lake levels right now, Bull Shoals is 9.17 feet above a full pool of 659. It's sitting at 668.17. Norfolk Lake is 7.07 .07 feet above the full pool of 552, setting at 559.07. Your current pollen index for allergy sufferers, ragweed and chinopods are the culprits today with a very low 4.1. It'll hang around to a 4.2 tomorrow. And let's see, the good old COVID virus here we have in the state. Set, I'm sorry, let's start over. 82,755 total cases, confirmed cases are 80,003, but recovered is 74,440. That gives us an 89.9% .9 recovery rate. Then you report for Baxter, Marion, Searcy Stone, Izzard, and Fulton counties. You're active and recovered. We have active 287 people in the six county area. It's a population of 104,900 people, and of that, 287 are active. Recovered is 1,078, and there's been a total of 1,384 that have been uh, counted as a COVID case. That gives us a 77.8% recovery of everyone that has tested positive in the six county area as to the active right now. So right now, basically a 78% recovery rate in the six county area. State of Arkansas looking at an 89.9% .9 recovery rate. Your active to recovered right now is 26.6%. Crude oil prices today are down just a little. It's sitting at 38.99. Your Dow Jones Industrial Average was off 131.4, dropping to 27.452.66. And that's still 9,000 points above the highest point of the previous administration. Morning updates and the weather brought to you by the Z Team. Bob and Linda's Adore for all your real estate needs. 870-405-0793. The website is retiredarkansas.net. And if there's no community calendar, we're going to take a quick break. I don't have anything. Okay. Hey, Dennis is here from Arkansas Game and Fish. Yay, be right back. <laughs>
Did you know when you shop at Sears Hometown Stores, you are supporting your local community? That's right. Your local Sears Hometown Store is locally owned and operated by one of your neighbors. Their store offers the best of what Sears has to offer with the top brands and appliances, tools, and lawn and garden. They also offer great financing options that work no matter what you need. Remember to stop by your local Sears Hometown Store today and support a local member of your community. Diatli Dental Care is a family-owned dental practice. Doctors Irvin and Christina Diatli grew up in the Twin Lakes area and are proud to serve the community. With modern treatment methods and state-of-the-art technology, they are dedicated to providing exemplary care to patients of all ages. Our compassionate team consistently receives training above and beyond the standard of care. We're changing the way you see dentistry. Come be a part of our dental family. Hi, we're Bob and Linda Zadora, the Z Team at Century 21 Lemac Realty, and we'd like you to meet the rest of our team. When you are working with the Z Team, you will find that not only are they down to earth people, but they are trained professionals who work with downsizers, first time home buyers, and clients who may want to relocate to our beautiful Ozarks. Our team has agents who specialize in Lake and River properties, listing and selling raw land, acreage, and all residential homes. Listing your property with the Z Team will help get it sold with unmatched Century 21 Global Marketing. You can find out more at RetireToArkansas.net. Driftwood Lanes. Fun happens here. When you're out of town, make sure your pet is with someone who will love them as much as you do. At 201 Pet Salon and Resort, your pet is cared for just as they would be at home. 201 Pet Salon and Resort is the only all-sweet climate-controlled and air-filtered boarding facility in the area with private and spacious rooms to keep your pet relaxed. And with over three-quarters of an acre of fence play area, your pet will receive the proper exercise they deserve. 201 also offers professional grooming services. Your best friend is in good hands at 201 Pet Salon and Resort in Mountain Home. Have you ever noticed every time you wash your car, you end up wetter than the actual car? Next time, run down to Car Care and let the friendly staff put a smile on your face. Car Care of Mountain Home has a variety of services to clean your vehicle's needs, inside and out. From a simple wash and shine to their outstanding detail services. Located 1525 Highway 62 East in Mountain Home. Stop by Car Care Mountain Home today because driving a clean car always makes you feel good. At Connor Family Funeral Home, our goal is to provide our friends and neighbors with caring, compassionate services at an affordable price. Connor Family is a full-service funeral home that offers a wide range of services to meet your family's needs and customs. We are the first on-site crematory in the area and provide many options to memorialize your loved ones and address all the details for a more personalized service. Where compassion and affordability meet, Connor Family Funeral Home in Mountain Home. At MSI. Dennis is here from Arkansas Gaming Fish. Yeah. Good to have you back. Did you have a good vacation? Oh, I got to tell you. Yes, I did. Good. Yeah. In fact, probably one of the best vacations we've ever had. I mean, it was. We went to, because uh, we stopped in Topeka to visit my son and grandson and uh, and uh, my son's wife, Jessica. We spent a couple of days on our way up. But then we headed up towards um, North Dakota and went to southwest North Dakota to the, uh, never, I even knew it existed, but the Roosevelt National Park. Never heard of it. And it's one of those out-of-the-way kind of places. Absolutely beautiful. Really? I mean, yeah, we spent a week and a half up there. And the reason we went there, we were actually headed to the Black Hills, and I forgot all about the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. And so we were going to be gone for the month of August and couldn't, you know, you couldn't get a campsite with a, with a stick um, until the middle of the month. So I asked one of the campground owners in, in um, 
the Black Hills, you know, where is a good place to go to hang out until I can get in? And he pointed me up that way. I'll tell you what, it was it was the greatest time. And then we went, we did go down to um, the Black Hills and went to Rushmore and um, Crazy Horse Memorial, all all of those kind of things. I did a ton of fishing, uh, more fishing. I've fished more in the month of August <laughs> this year than I think I have in the last three years. <laughs> it was it was just a great a great question. time. What'd you catch? Trout. Did you? Yes, yes, all wild trout. Um, really? Yeah, yeah. No uh, no stalkers, none of that kind of stuff. Just you know, mountain stream kind of. What's just, the minimum length you can keep up there? You know, I don't even know. I, 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 Real catch and release? I did, yeah. yeah. I mean, what are you going to do with them? Well, actually, I think they have, I'm guessing, I want to say you can keep one over 18 inches. Uh, everything else, um, you know, a five fish limit, but only one can be over 18. Hmm. So sort of like what we have here, but, you know, they're, um anyway i don't know I, I wasn't planning on keeping them i was fly fishing so they have tiny little rainbow up there or brown yeah they boat? do yeah sure yeah. do yeah they have rainbow they have the same we have here yeah. uh plus a couple of other species of um uh, cutthroat that we don't have really some endemic trout cutthroat up there well now yeah. throughout the past <clears throat> several months you know scooter and i do the opening on this show and at one point north dakota we do the watford city north dakota because i had family up there at one point and it was minus 40. Well, it's 55 here. Yeah. So how do those fish survive in such cold cl- I mean, does that... Well, they're, they're cold-blooded. Um, and if they can stay in unfrozen water, they'll, they'll be okay. They'll really? go dormant. Uh, you can take a trout, freeze it in a solid block of ice, put that block of ice in temperate water, let that ice melt, and the fish will swim away. I mean, they, they just go dormant. Their system's all but shut down. It's a type of hibernation type wow. of thing. So, yeah, they're... Um, so I just wonder if that habitat for the trout up there be... Well, firstly, the, and it gets really cold up there. I mean, we don't know what cold is. You get into the Dakotas, man, it gets cold. It gets cold. <laughs> it does. But, you know, out in the prairie, it's even worse. This was up in the hills where... It's a little bit better protected from, you know, from the wind. It's not on that open plain kind of situation. But um, <clears throat> they, you know, they, they deal with it. I mean, they, they thrive in, you know, 45-degree water here with no problem at all. Mm-hmm. You know, it goes down to, you know, coming out of the dam. I, I think. just wonder what the thermocline in the lakes and the rivers, how that differs from Arkansas. You know, because we talk about when the lake turns over here yeah. in the fall and the spring. You know, but, you know, <laughs> he's sitting there with a jacket on it. What's the temperature out there, 40 or 57 degrees? Wearing a jacket. <laughs> Wearing a jacket. This a, ain't a jacket. It's this long sleeves. It's a thin little <laughs> coat. Pull over. <laughs> hey, Scooter, don't tell him my fleece jacket's right over there that I wore in. <laughs> I'll make sure not to mention it. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, don't tell anybody. <laughs> I walk in in a short sleeve shirt, and you guys are in your word jacket. <laughs> hey, l- let me tell you what's going on. We've got yeah. so many things, and it has It seems like forever since I've been here. I think the last time I was here was just uh, maybe after the second COVID show that we did. And uh, we, were, love it? we were getting all geared up, learning how to do videos and Zoom meetings and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Well, we're, we're there now. I mean, we're, we're doing, uh, you know, lots of stuff on Zoom. Uh, it's we're, a good thing this hit now and not 40 years ago. We'd be... Oh, could you imagine? Well, it did, you know, but you didn't hear. I don't even want to go oh, there. Yeah, Never mind. <laughs> but, hey, real quick, I've got the 2021 Arkansas Hunting Guidebook. I've got a spare. Somebody wants to stop by today and pick this up. I'll have it here on the counter. Yep. We're at 1226 Commerce Drive. That's what I, well, I'm going to leave this in here by the microphone. That's what's sitting here in the microphone. I'm actually going to have you set that one down because all... With it sitting up there on that angle, it gets glare. He gets picky about glare. I do. I do. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, he's the he's the producer and the director. So. Hey, hey, remember that. <laughs> I'll make a note. <laughs> <laughs> he can cut our mics. We got to be careful here. <laughs> um, so yeah, these just came out. Oh, I don't know exactly when, but you know, within the last week or two. Um, but I got two of them now to give away. So. so yeah, and you can pick them up anywhere that sells licenses. And after you've run out, if you need more, let me know. We'll get more to you. We've got them at the Game and Fish office over there on the corner of Church and Fifth Street, diagonally behind the square. If you don't know where the fisheries office is, uh, stop by there and get them. So yeah, they're they're chock full. And if you notice, they have the alligator on the cover. 
as the game species because uh, alligators not a lot of people don't know that um, uh, alligators are native to Arkansas mm-hmm. now not up here obviously but you know down south uh, let's let's say generally below I-40 but once you get below I-30 they you know they they start getting... is it more prevalent southeast south central or southwest uh, across what? the state uh, across the it's, it's the whole bottom tier yeah really yeah pretty much yeah yep now the bigger ones tend to be central um, really? You know, when the uh, the water's out of the, uh, or into the um, Arkansas River. Uh, that's that's where the hunters looking for the big guys go, is they, they, they fish the uh, the river and its tributaries uh, central of the state, south central of the state. Hmm. But anyway, uh, they did change that up. I, I actually got to go hunting, alligator hunting, a few years back. I, I remember, remember that. One, that. Yeah. And it was, at the time, uh, all permit draw hunt. You know, you'd apply. And uh, you would apply either for private land or public land, and then which and and whichever zone. There was uh, two zones at the time, I believe. I could be wrong, maybe three. But you'd have to de- uh, declare which zone and whether you wanted to hunt private or public, and then they would draw you. And if you got uh, selected, then you got to go. So what now? You- what they've done is the public is still the public land is still a draw hunt, but private land is very much like the private land elk hunt. Uh, it's basically a quota hunt so huh. you don't have to draw for a special permit what you do have to do is make sure that the quota for the number of alligators harvested to date in the season which is over now um is that right yeah yeah it's over now. it ended sunday um <clears throat> you call each day to make sure that they haven't reached the quota in the zone you're in uh, that they want to harvest. And that's how we manage the populations. That's really what this is about. Do they is, have a population count on alligators in Arkansas? Yeah, and it's in, <clears throat> in and around the 5,000 uh, numbers. So kind of similar what they do with bear. And, it's exactly and, what they yeah. do. Same thing. Yeah, you yep. got to call and see where the quota yep. is. and then, Right. Yeah. Exactly, yep. Uh, that's for the private land. For the public land, you can, you know, you just go to your public land with your permit because they only issue so many permits. They know gotcha. if everybody tagged, they'd know how many that would take out of the population. They don't know that on the uh, open hunt private land, so that's why they want you to call. So what's the habitat for an alligator? What are they, they looking for the marshiness? Swamp. The swamps. <laughs> yeah. Swamp. Yeah, uh, a place where they can always stay at least 55 degrees. Um, so, you know, that's why they're not up here. You know, our, our ground will freeze. You get two feet below the ground, it's probably 55 degrees, but it's hard to dig a two-foot hole in the ground up here. Um, down there, if you go to the bottom of a pond or a lake, you know, or a swamp or whatever, um, it'll be um, tempered enough where they will, they'll go dormant, but they're not going to, they're not going to die. They'll die anything 50 or below. They, right. they can't survive that. Um, and, you know, just lots of uh, where the food source is, where the water will stay, you know, yeah. when I say warm, it's all relative, but relatively warm, warmer than here. Um, uh, vegetation cover, you know, that just that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, and they're you know they eat pretty much anything. They're strictly carnivores. They don't eat vegetation at all, but they'll eat any any kind of. Food. They're the apex predator, which means they get to prey on anything. Yeah. And nothing other than us or a bigger alligator gets to prey on them. So, in their environment, they are the top dog, top of, top of the food chain. Wow. Yeah. So anyway. Um, so that's the deal. Well, I just happened to open this hunting guide to page 33. It kind of fell open, and it says feral hogs, a threat to Arkansas wildlife. Oh, yeah. And I know you've got a page of stuff you need to talk about. So Yeah, well, um, you know, we need to do a, a whole hog program. Uh, it's a big, big deal. It really is. And any farmer or any hunter who's uh, trying to manage their land for, uh, for wildlife, especially uh, deer, um, every county in Arkansas has a hog problem now. You know, all 75 counties have, have the issue to deal with. And the big issue is they uh, compete for the food that, um, that other wildlife uh, rely on. Here. And they are fierce competitors, and yep. they often win the game. So um, It says on private land, feral hogs may be killed or trapped year-round with any method right. by a landowner or anyone with the landowner's permission. Right. Wow. Yep. Wow. Any number, leave them and let them lay if you want to. And, you know, in the heat of the summer, that's probably what you want to do. Uh, they carry 72 or some crazy number of pathogens. So in the really hot weather, um, I, I wouldn't eat one in August. Now, this time of year, yeah, sure. 
you know, but get it on ice right away. They're very good. They're good to eat. Yeah. But that's the deal is they uh, they will tear up. Uh, if, if you've never seen the damage hogs will oh, do yeah. to the landscape, oh. it's like a rototiller uh, on steroids. I mean, it's they just go down the Buffalo River lower wilderness section I sometimes. That, yeah. Both sides of the river, both banks look like somebody's just taking a big uh, disc uh, tractor and just going down both banks, just chewing it up on the banks and... Yeah, and uh, so that's that's the scoop, and they're not they're not really wildlife. You know, we yeah. we can control them only to the point that we can allow folks to do what we're doing, but they're not considered wildlife. Our task is to manage wildlife. They're actually considered livestock. They and therefore controlled by that. USDA. Yeah, and uh, they were once initially were. Uh, farm animals that, for whatever reason, were in, led into the environment, into the uh, wilderness, and have become feral. Yeah. Let's go ahead and grab the 30 break now, and that'll give us a straight run for about 20 minutes with no interruptions. Want to do that? Okay. Be right back with Dennis from Arkansas Game and Fish. At MSI, they're not just another trash service. They're your friendly, family-owned and operated trash service, providing residential, commercial, and roll-off pickup. MSI offers competitive rates and services five counties in the north-central Arkansas area. Various dumpster sizes available for commercial and accommodating you with weekly pickup for your convenience. Call Tammy or Kathy today at MSI. MSI Trash Service, small enough to know you and large enough to service you. When I grow up, I want to save lives, like a superhero, and show up when people needed me. When I grow up, I want to do animations. I want to create characters that can fly. No matter what it is you want out of life, there is a path to get there. When I grow up, when I grow up, I don't know what I want to do when I grow up, but I know I want to go to college. Arkansas State University Mountain Home. Take your first step at asumh.edu. Hi, I'm Benny with Ammo Dump. At Ammo Dump, they carry new and used firearms, large supply of shotguns, rifles, and handguns. Ammo Dump will buy, sell, or trade in your item and can special order whatever you like. They also have knives, scopes, ammo of any caliber, and provide gun cleaning and restoration. Call them today for the best competitive pricing around. If I don't have it or can't get it because I don't make it, come and see us. That's Ammo Dump, located next to Woodman's Package in Norfolk. When you think about Hospice of the Ozarks, it's our desire that you think about finding a way to live your life to the fullest while living with a serious illness. If you ever need help and support, we provide a team of healthcare professionals and volunteers that will support your physical, emotional, and spiritual aspects of life while doing the same for your family and caregivers in the comfort of your own home or wherever you call home. When you think about Hospice of the Ozarks, we hope that you grant us permission to walk on the journey with you. Your not-for-profit option since 1979. Take a step back in time when going to a barbershop meant more than just getting a haircut. Come into Legionnaire Barbershop today, a unique gentleman's barbershop. Get back in style with two experienced licensed barbers who are trained in tonsorial arts and lock removal and are happy to give you a straight razor shave. Legionnaire Barbershop is veteran owned and operated and located at 1041 Highland Circle Suite 55 in Mountain Home for a full old fashioned barbershop experience. Stop by Legionnaire Barbershop today. And we're back with Dennis Dunderdale from Arkansas Game and Fish. He's got a whole page of notes, so go yeah, run we, with it. we do. Let me kind of roll. Since you segued perfectly into the new uh, hunting guidebooks, there are some, and every guidebook, by the way, whether it's the uh, regular hunting, the duck hunting, whatever, fishing, all of that, on like the first or second page, or third page in this case, there's a section called New This Year, and there's a whole list of things. I'm not going to go through them all, but I do want to cover a couple of highlights that people need to know that are significantly different. 
First one is Independence County and Jackson counties have been added to the CWD zone. Uh -oh. So let's come back to CWD later because that, that'll distract us into a whole segment. But um, a, a deer was killed that was positive CWD in, in Independence County. And what they do is take a spot where that was harvested, draw a 10 mile radius around it, and any counties within that radius also get included in the zone. So that's why Jackson County uh, was brought in this year. Another new uh, requirement is all youth, meaning uh, under 16 years of age who want to check a deer now must get a customer ID number. And it's easy to do. You can do it on the computer, you can do it on the app, or you can call our Little Rock office and uh, they'll you know, get you set up over the phone. But you used to be able, if you were a kid, you could check your deer using your date of birth for your CID. Now we want you to have a CID. And the, and the reason is because we, we want to, number one, we want to remind you when it's time to buy a license that you need to buy a license. So if we've got that CID number, it's just much easier to um, kind of keep track of that. Plus, we also are trying to get a handle on how many kids uh, are brought hunting by somebody older and then continue on to be a hunter themselves versus when it's up to them to go, they don't go anymore. Uh, we have a feeling that's a higher number than we ever thought. So we want to check that out. We want to be able to kind of track that. And then we once you're over 16, you have to have a regular license, right? Yes, and when you works? buy your first regular license, you'll get a CID at that point anyway. Yeah. But the and CID that you'd get as a, as a minor, that'll stay with you through life. So when you do have to buy a license, it'll be the same CID. Okay. What's yeah. the CID stand for again? Um, customer identification number. Yeah. So we got that. Let's see. Hunting license are required to take any nuisance animals or depredation animals. For example, if you're having a coyote problem um, and you want to take that coyote problem off your farm, it used to be just take the coyote. It's a nuisance. You know, it'd be nice to let somebody know that's what's going on. So when the neighbors hear shooting at, uh, you know, in July, they, they know what's going on. Well, now you need to have a hunting license, you, you know, just to do that. Um, the other one is all deer, elk, and bears must be checked within 12 hours. It used to be 24. Now we want you to check it essentially that day. Um, it's easy to check. If you have a smartphone, the best thing to do is download the AGFC app on, the, on there, and it's real easy to check. Even if you don't have cell signal, uh, if you have enough power in your phone to pull that app up, you can enter all the information in. It'll save it. And even if you're not in a cell signal, and then when you get to a cell signal, it'll automatically link up mm -hmm. and send it automatically. That's how I do you. all mine, and it is I do easy. Too. It is simple. I do too, yeah. And it just that way you don't forget, because that's yeah. the biggest problem. I don't think that many people, there's probably a few, but not that many people intentionally, oh, I'm not going to check this deer. I'm, <clears throat> it's a buck. I want to get a third or a fourth buck. Yeah, I'm sure some people do that. The vast majority of people just forget to check them, especially with the issue of where now you don't have to tag them. Um, if you're going to move it, you're supposed to uh, have it tagged until you get it checked. And now you don't have to worry about that. Just check it right on the phone. Or you can call the 800 number, and I'll give that number in just a few minutes. And let's see. That's the last one. Oh, here's a big one. We always had, well, not always, but <clears throat> in the past uh, several years, we've had the private land antlerless deer hunting usually that was in what late october early november you know er earlier than the uh than the rest of the season and it was and i'd have to look I, I could be wrong about when it used to be well we've moved it from the middle of the uh, season to the end of the christmas bonus hunt mm. which now gives you know christmas bonus hunters the, the christmas bonus hunt is december 26th uh, 27th and 28th, I think. Is that right? Saturday, Sunday, Monday. 26th, 27th. Yeah. <clears throat> now, add on to that the private land antlerless hunt, and you can get five days of hunting in there. Now, it's antlerless only, and it's private land only, so you can't go to the national forest and shoot a buck, but uh, but you can do the, uh, well, you can't anyway, but... <clears throat> So those are, those are the biggies. There's a few others in there as well, and I encourage you to, you can go to agfc.com, and if you're on our home page, uh, right on the very uh, front there on that crawler of the four space on the left, download the 2020-21 hunting guidebook. Click that. It'll download as a PDF. You can save it to your phone and always have a guidebook in your pocket. Okay, let's go back real quick. Say that again. No, okay, we'll, go we'll, to the home page. 
Let me back up one. <clears throat> yep, okay. Down on the oh, – uh, you just had uh, it there. Yep. And um, you set the forward arrow. There we go. There you go. Okay, uh, on that uh, bar on the bottom – not the bar, but that, that banner on the bottom where those four pictures are, uh -huh. the one on the left, right there. If you click that, that'll take you to a PDF file oh, yeah. of the guidebook. Oh, wow. There and now you, you can save that right to your phone or your computer sure. or whatever you want, and you'll always have that with you. And it's searchable, so, uh, so you can do that. <clears throat> the next topic of change, and this is also kind of a big one, is uh, go back to the home page. Yeah. The next uh, box over, the uh, do you need Hunter education? Um, who needs Hunter education hasn't changed. <clears throat> Any hunter 16 years of age or older uh, who wants to hunt independently, and by independently we mean not within arm's reach of an otherwise licensed um, educated hunter, um, has to have hunter education. So even if you're going to um, you know, just go hunting with Uncle Louie and you're 17 years old, you got to have hunter education unless you apply for a deferred hunter education permit, which is a once- I mean, you have to do it every year, and you can apply for it. It's free. Uh, go online, go to agfc.com, and then you can still hunt with Uncle Louie, but you have to be within arm's reach of Uncle Louie, and Uncle Louie has to be at least 21 years of age and meet the hunter education requirements, meaning either have a card, or if he was born before 1968, then he doesn't have to have the card, although we but certainly wouldn't you agree should. that, you know, and yes, I was <clears throat> born before 1968, to do a refresher? Absolutely. And if you've never gone through the hunter education course, regardless of what age you are, I highly recommend you do that. And I can't tell you how many, I've taught hundreds, probably thousands now in 10 years um, of people that I've taught through hunter education. I can't tell you how many of them were an adult that was bringing a kid to the class that didn't need to have the card, but he came because, you know, he wanted you know, Junior or Sally to realize that he thought it was important enough for him to sit there too and would come up to us afterwards or during a break and say, my goodness, I wish I'd done this years ago. I can't believe how much great information, yeah. you yeah. know, we've picked up here just today. And he goes, I've been hunting all my life and I know what I'm doing. I'm not an ignorant, uh, unsafe hunter, but you've given me so many things to think about and so many uh, conditions to consider that I probably never would have considered. So yeah, take the class. Now, that's my segue into the point I really wanted to make. Right now, our restrictions and all game and fish program restrictions are every program must be conducted outdoors. We can't do any inside programming, including hunter education or boater education. So we do it in places like, like at the Fred Berry Center. We have a great pavilion there, and I'm going to be doing some programs there in a couple of weeks. Um, but the class has to be outdoors limited to 10 participants 10 people including instructors so if i'm the instructor we can have nine students in the class and then we we can do that well it's strictly a numbers game the number of people looking for hunter education cards far exceeds however many of those we could possibly put on we're doing those and other people are too so the alternative is if you are over 10 years of age you can do the entire thing online if you want to it was such that if you were under 16 and you did it online, you still had to come to us for a two-hour field day, what we called the completion course, where we talked about tree stand safety and ethics and a few other things that we really wanted to get your attention on. Because of the situation we're in now, we've waived that. And in fact, we've probably waived it for good. So no more field day, no more coming to us for your final test. If you do it online, you do everything online, including your final test. And then within two weeks, they'll send you a card in the mail. And you can print off a temporary card that you can use so you can hunt until you get your permanent card. And now for COVID's purposes, during the COVID crisis, we're having the age cut off to be 10 years of age or older. So if you're 10 or older, you can do it completely online. If you're under 10, you still need to take the live class. Once COVID is over, that goes up to 12 years of age. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So we're not, you know, we're not throwing out the baby with the bathwater in terms of live education, but we do realize that we're in strange times. We're in extreme situation here. We still really believe people need to get that hunter education and go out there and, and have that information to be safe. So this is how we're trying to accommodate that under these, under these conditions. So that's the deal on mm. hunter ed. And um, let's see. I mentioned CWD a little while ago, and we picked up two new counties this year. I haven't, I, I got to tell you, I haven't been tracking the actual number of CWD positive cases, but you can certainly do that. I'll bring it up here real quick. Yeah. Uh, one of those things had, oh, I, I think it's, it's, I think it's the uh, flying banner at the top. Here's, yeah. I'm going to pull yeah, this map up here. I've got to enhance it here just a little bit once it loads as PDF. Okay. Um, Independence and in Jackson County. That's getting. That's getting. Well, when you look at the map, and there, like I said, there was one positive. You'll see it way over there in the uh, on the eastern edge of Independence County. And that's down on the White River too, where they picked it up. Yeah, I sense that's probably over near uh, Oil Trough, or you know, somewhere yeah. in, in that stretch. <clears throat> um, but anyway, you know, you can still see the cluster is you know Newton heavily County. dominated in those four. Newton, Newton Madison, Carol, Carol, Madison, and, and um, yeah. what's the other one? Newton, Carol, Madison. Boone, know. Carol, Madison. Boone, There's yeah. A little bit in Cersei, not many. Yeah. More elk than deer, it looked like. Now, we have, we still have the two-tiered uh, CWD management zone. And the yeah. first tier, tier one, is those four counties that we just right. mentioned. And the way that those tiers regulations work is if you harvest a deer in tier one in one of those four counties, the deer must stay in those four counties until all the meat is off the bone. You can take uh, antlers uh, with a clean skull plate, and we mean clean, you know, clean that skull plate. And people want to do that if they want to mount it. Which, the way you do that is you, you, what we say, cape out the animal. You, you, you know, strip the skin off of it, and then um, you can um, uh, take the antlers and uh, cut those out and then the taxidermist will use your antlers and your cape and put it over a mount. Well, you still have to do that, but that skull cap where the antlers came from has to be clean of any meat or any uh, tissue. Really? Um, all the meat must be cut off of the bone. We have a really good video on our website that's attached to those regulations somewhere uh, that shows you how to field bone uh, a deer. And, you know, it's something a lot of folks haven't done. We do it just because it's usually so much easier to just, so just kind of So you kill the deer that. in that zone, in the Newton County, Newton, Boone, Carroll, Madison. It stays in those four counties until you've boned it. So you basically just have to dissect everything. Right. But they're in the field. Right. Or in those counties. I mean, again, yeah. if, if you're at deer camp in one of those counties, bring it back to camp. Yeah. But if you're living in Baxter County and you're hunting over in Jasper, um, before you go back to Baxter County, or before you leave any of those four counties, you've got to meet those requirements. You've got to clean that deer out. Um, Have then, they come to any conclusion on why it was so concentrated starting in Newton County? No, not really. Yeah, I, I haven't heard any if they are. I, I don't think they really know. I mean, it's, there's, and how are you going to know? I mean, they've done DNA testing to find out what the origin of that, uh, you know, those animals were, and it's, it's really not telling them a whole lot. They know where the elk initially came from, the Rocky Mountain elk that we have. So they don't know if it came in initially. They don't know if somebody brought it in from out of state when they hunted out of state and, and you know, brought their elk back or their deer back. We don't really know. Uh, but we do know that it's, I mean, look at the map. It tells the story right there. That's the hot zone. Maybe and what, what our strategy stop, is is to think? keep that from spreading. And, and it's, it really is slowing it down. I mean, you know, we've added... Uh, one positive uh, increased the, um, the the zone yeah, this for this year. year. Yeah, and that's you know that's one positive added to the added to the zone. That's not a whole lot. That's that's slow. Now you know I say that, and who knows? This year we may get you know twenty tap wood. I hope that doesn't happen. But um, <laughs> maybe if we call the governor, he'd make him wear a mask. <laughs> 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 you have to leave that one alone. I said that. Yes, I'm, I'm, <laughs> with I'm, that, we need to take the 50 break. We're going to take a break. Be back with get Dennis me off right the after air, this. Dale, quick. <laughs> Cut his mic, Scooter. <laughs>
At Ladies Mexican Restaurant, we are here to keep you safe during these difficult times, as well as serve you the best Mexican food in the area. That's why we have installed a convenient drive through window for all your to-go and pick-up orders. Give us a call at 870-435-2532 to order your next meal, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and ask us about our daily specials for a low price to feed the whole family. Experience the best in Mexican cuisine. Letty's in Gasville. Jim Brown Company keeps you cool when it's hot and warm when it's not. A trusted name in the mountain home community, Jim Brown Company provides timely heating and cooling installation and repairs. Our certified technicians incorporate new technology on every job to provide you with the most advanced services. At our metal fabrication shop, we handle projects big and small. We've created everything from commercial ducts to custom designs. I'd recommend Jim Brown Company to my friends and neighbors. The reason being they have high-tech equipment, their service techs are well qualified for the job that they do, and they also send me a report after all the work is done so I know exactly what my unit's doing. By visiting our showroom, you can learn all about our heating and cooling products. We'll educate you on your options and help you decide on the right solution. For total comfort at your home or business, choose Jim Brown Company. Quality service with a family name since 1964. It takes the right gear to survive out here. Oh, there she is, Ferris. It's the best gear around. Strong as an ox. Safe as houses. Our back is one powerful beast. Awesome. Four wheel suspension. Handles whatever Mother Nature throws at you. Designed to take the hard out of hard work and deliver all the power you could need. So if you want to tackle the great outdoors, get yourself a Ferris. Get the only mower with suspension technology at Mower Warehouse in Mountain Home, where they accept mower trade-ins, have flexible financing options, and services all brands and models. That's Mower Warehouse, located on Buzzard Roost in Mountain Home. Seven fifty three. Finishing out the program with Dennis Nutterdale, Arkansas Game and Fish. Yeah. Before I run out of time, I want to make sure that we cover a couple of events that we have coming up. Um, first of all, you know, the Becoming an Outdoors Women event has been a long-standing tradition for oh gosh, I can't remember how many years twenty two, twenty three years with Game and Fish. Well, with COVID this year, they had to cancel the the live event, which was a big deal. They'd have one hundred and fifty or so women. Um, come down to the 4-H Center in Ferndale and we'd spend the whole weekend down there and they would pick uh, Friday afternoon, Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon and Sunday morning sessions. So we'd have four sessions and they had a host of, oh, I don't know, 50 or 60 different events that they would sign up for and you'd pick four on, off that list and sign up for them. Well, we couldn't do that this year. So what they're doing instead is we're having local bow events all around the state and the same women that would have signed up, you sign up for, you know, whatever. Um, go to the website. I think it's still open for registration. Some of those are, are filled. Like I'm doing one, or we're doing one. I shouldn't say it's me, but there's, there's some of us doing some stuff over at the Fred Berry Center this Saturday. That one is full. That's going to be um, uh, birding and uh, paddling uh, in the morning. And then in the afternoon, there's a group of eight. That they're limited to eight. Um, and that will be split between shotgunning and archery. So Ken Foreman will take the archery session. I'll take the shotgunning session. He'll have four for an hour and a half. I'll have four for an hour and a half, and then we'll switch. That one, unfortunately, is full, but there are several others that are not. So, And you're right on the page there. Uh, and if you go to agfc.com, um, on the right-hand side, towards the bottom of the page, under the calendar section, that very first thing, uh, October right 2nd, click that, and it will take you to the registration. Mm -hmm. And um, also... Um, and there's the registration area coming up. There it is. And the contact information, if you want to call uh, the folks down in Lowen Oak, that's who manages the program. 
Um, but call them if you have questions and they'll kind of help you through that. Um, the rest of the, while well, I'm on the calendar thing, the rest of that has several different Zoom classes and a couple of live events that are coming up. Uh, Dutch oven cooking, thinking of you, Scooter, being the, being the Dutch oven chef that you are. Uh, but we have a four-part Dutch oven cooking session starting October 6th. Uh, again, all the directions on how to, how to establish a Zoom account. You don't have to establish an account. You can just, you know, register for it, and then it'll, they'll send you a link. You click on it, and you're in. It's very simple. Uh, on the 10th, I'm, ha I'm doing a four-part um, series on introduction to whitetail deer hunting. And it's four parts, but it's done over two Saturdays. So I'll have a Saturday morning session on the 10th, and then an after lunch session, and then the same thing on the 17th. So, and that's registration required, of course. It'll be live. We're limiting it to uh, nine participants, uh, 10 including me. And, um, and information that you can either call the center, which has the phone number and the, and the email, or you can call me directly. I'll give my number and uh, email address at the end of the show. And there's also a uh, Facebook. If you go to the AGFC Facebook page, there's links to this stuff there as well. Okay. And then um, let's see what else. That's pretty much it for and there's some photography things. If you click that uh, click for more, it'll give you everything on the calendar. And we just don't have time to go through all of them. But there's a bunch of stuff. Oh we goodness, are not there out of business. Next year. Oh, yeah. And we're by no means out of business, trust me. So that'll give you an idea of what's going on. There's some interesting reading articles for just different things going on, projects we're working on, and places that we're trying to fix up and all that under the latest news section. So go check that out. Now, we were talking about CWD. I just wanted to get those, those events in before we uh, close out. But the CWD situation is we will test your animal for you for free. And I want to repeat, <clears throat> as we have many times in the past, there is still no evidence from either the CDC or the World Health Organization that CWD transmits to humans. We have no concerns that that's the case. We have no evidence that that's the case. And we're still going with that. However, we realize people want to test it. And you should test, especially if you take a deer out of the CWD zone. If um, uh, there's a, a list... Um, of all the locations, and I can't remember how many there are, but there's at least one, in some cases, three or four um, drop freezers uh, or drop, uh, drop off containers is the word I'm looking for, mm -hmm. but they're freezers um, located around the state. Now, locally, we've got one right on our front porch over at the Game and Fish office over on the corner of Church and Fifth Street, diagonally behind the square. That's the Game and Fish Field Fisheries office. Uh, there's one there on the porch. These are accessible 24 hours a day. So um, there's another one down at the City Hall Pavilion in Norfolk. Okay, that's the other one in Baxter County. There's one over in Marion County over at the Marion County Fairgrounds over there in uh, Summit. Um, okay. You know, drive, if you, if you need to follow the science of the fairgrounds, you'll find it. There's one there. And they're, they're elsewhere as well. So <clears throat> um, very simple directions. Cut the head off the deer. Leave about six inches of neck. There's a plastic bag and tags that you fill out. Drop it in the thing. We'll call you if it's positive. Otherwise, uh, there's a uh, website and a number you can check uh, that you can call. Or check, you, know, you can um, either call or look it up to see if uh, the results are back. But we'll get a hold of you if they're positive. We won't call you if it's negative. 30 seconds. Okay, let me give you my phone number and contact info so you can, let's see, which camera are we on here? This here one. Not the, yep. Okay, there it is. Um, a uh, cell phone number is area code 870-321-9, no, 3215548, 870-321-5548. Uh, my email address is Dennis with one N, D-E-N-I-S dot Dunderdale, just like it sounds, D-U-N-D-E-R-D-A-L-E at A-G-F-C dot ar dot gov so shoot me an email with questions or if you want to register for that um uh, whitetail class otherwise we gotta go thanks for being here see ya